Hello students, uh, today I will discuss about various principles of social group work. Uh, myself, Partha Protein Sharma, Assistant Professor of Assam Downtown University. Uh, principles Principles uh, The social social profession is guided by a distinct set of abstract values and a code of ethics. These values are transformed into accepted practice principles for the purpose of informing our intervention with client. It means uh, when we, we will dealing with a client or a person, we have to follow some code of ethics or values where we can easily solve uh, the issues of the client or a person or an individual or a group. Dictionary meaning of the principles is a basic way of which something works. Means it is a basic idea, basic rules, basic, uh, basic information for doing a simple activity or a uh, social uh, plan. Next is principles of plan group formation. In these principles, uh, we need to plan. Uh, we need to plan uh, a activity before going to do a activity. We need to have some plan uh, for a work. Or uh, when we dealing with an individual or a group or an agency or a client, uh, we need to we we should have some uh, plan uh, or timetable for uh, for the activity. Next is principle of specific objective. Uh, according to these principles, we should have some specific objective uh, to solve their issue. Uh, when we dealing with a group, uh, when we dealing with a gr uh, group or a uh, group issue, we should have some specific objective for solving the issues of a group or a uh, client. Next is principles of purposeful worker group relationship. <clears throat> a conscious and a purposeful relationship must be established between the worker and the group member based on the worker acceptance of the group member as they are the upon of group's willingness to accept them, accept help from the worker because the confidence and the member have him and in the agency means uh, we should have uh, confidentiality for some activity uh, because when we dealing with a client uh, they uh, they may or may not be uh, reveal their uh, some personal issues so that we should kept in confidential and uh, the worker, the group worker should have some purposeful experiences or uh, purposeful uh, confidential uh, uh, documents with him so that uh, the social worker or the group worker should maintain this confidential. Next is principles of continuous individualization. Mm -hmm. Uh, the principles of continuous individualization means uh, in group work it is recognized that groups are uh, different and the individual utilize group experience in a variety of way to meet their different needs. Means in a group there are various members of uh, from different field or different area so, but we need to give a specific uh, 
focus on their issues uh, as an individual we need to give their respect so that they can reveal their issues uh, and it will be help for uh, to solving the problem the principles of guided group interaction in group work the primary source of energy which proper propels that group and in, influences the individuals to sense are the interaction and the reciprocal resp uh, responses for the member the group worker influence this interaction by the type and quality of a participation the group worker have to uh, focus on their participation and it will uh, how to how to deal with the group so uh, he can he or she uh, need to be uh, focused on the people's participation and uh, their interactions the principles of democratic group self determination in group work the group must be helped to make their own decision and determine its own activity taking their maximum uh, amount of responsibility in line with their capacity and their ability the primary source of control over the group is the group itself main means um, when a social worker or a group worker deal with a uh, group for solving their issues uh the group is a group itself is a uh, very important uh, for solving their uh, issue so uh, social worker must be uh, focused on the decision and determination of the member of the group means uh, how to take their decisions and how to uh, how i can uh, uh, how can how can how I can reverse their uh, decisions and how uh, their issues, their ideas, their comments, their opinions is the very much essential for the uh, to solve the group problem. The principles of flexible functional organization in group work. The group worker gets is a group by setting up an, an organization to meet the group needs. The organization does establish should be understood by the group members should be flexible and encouraged only if it meets the felt need of the member. The organization should be adaptive and should sense as group sense. Means, uh, the various plan and process should be flexible and encouraged within the group member when i'll be when a group worker or a, a social worker encourage the group member so that they feel feel to free their uh, uh, to reveal uh, their opinion, their issues, their uh, their ideas, so that it will be help very much. Uh, it will be very much helpful for the uh, to solve the group problem. The principles of progressive program experiences in social group work. The program experiences in which a group encourage should begin at the level of member interest, need, experiences, confidence, and should progress in relation to the developing capacity for the group. A social worker or a group worker uh, should encourage their interest, their needs, their experiences, their opinions, their ideas, so that. Uh, they will be available for any time for uh, when it will be uh, needed and it will be very much important 
for the solving their issues. The principles of resource utilization. This is the very much important principles for uh, group activity. Uh, resource utilization is very much important and so that uh, it will be helpful uh, to develop their community problem and um, as well as group problem. Uh, so research utilization uh, is a, uh, necessary for a group activity. Next is principles of evaluation. This is the last principles of social group work. In social group work, uh, continuous evaluation is a process and program in terms of outcome is essential. Worker, group, and agencies share the procedure as a, as a means of guaranteeing uh, this greatest possible self-fulfillment. And at the end of the activity, uh, evaluation and monitoring is very much important so that it will be easy to understand for a group worker or a social worker that how uh, what is uh, what is the level of the group activity and how much they can achieve their uh, problems uh, problem solving process so that it will be helpful for a social worker as well as uh, for group members also or a client also so uh, i want to conclude this topic that principles of uh, social group worker is a uh, very much important to uh, to monitoring uh, or to carry out the various activities and various uh, uh, various planned activity uh, so that it will be helpful for solve their group problems of uh, group members and uh, they can also uh, very help um, very, very happy uh, to work with a group member or a social worker or a group worker uh, thank you Thank you for uh, listening my video. Thank you.